Welcome friends to the Beaver Dam. Today we're doing a uh, member requested video. So each week we have a poll where our members get to request a video. Um, big thanks to Snack Attack as well as Joe Correa for gifting so many memberships. We have a lot this, uh, this month, so I'm expecting a big turnout for our polls for the next coming weeks. But uh regardless we are jumping in if you want to consider becoming a member check out the link in the description we have a whole bunch of different fun tiers that have different uh rewards very very cool stuff but today we're talking about the best uses of your crystals as well as the best uses of your refreshes uh that's kind of the overall idea that he wanted me to go with and so that's the one that won so talking about this i think there's three big ways to use your crystals that are important um, and the first way is the most important. These are in the order of importance. And the first one is refreshes. And so this works out really well. Uh, when it comes to your refreshes, pre-level 85, you get about 150 crystals a day if you're fishing in Galactic War, if you're also finishing your daily challenges. And you should be trying to do that every single day. Uh, so if you're getting 150 crystals, perfect. That's, this is what you want to do. You get a little bit more than 150 crystals, but we're going to ignore the excess and let that pile up. We always want to let excess pile up unless we're doing a, something we'll talk about in a bit. So the big thing that you're going to want to do is put three refreshes in regular energy. It's super, super important for everything. And when you're early game, what you're looking for is teams. This right here is my free-to-play account. Just hit level 85 in the last week. And you can see here I've got, you know, energy farm, energy farm, energy farm, energy farm, energy, energy, all energy farms. We got a ton of energy farms because why? We need squads. We need squads for GAC. We need squads for events. We need squads, 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 squads. So you want to throw everything into regular energy and get as many squads as you can. I did for a bit throw an extra energy uh, refresh into ship energy for a bit. So I did two in regular and one in ship for quite a few weeks just so that way we get our Zeta materials quickly. And that was very important. Um, when it comes to just in general, though, three regular energy is very important so we get you know we have we just got to level 85 we have savage we have a veers team we have a geo brood team we have a hera team we have the start of a bt trip going towards our uh, our afra that's our first major farm we have an emperor palpatine mara jade team we have the beginning of a bosk team like we have teams to go and we have the ships that we need to be able to get the zeta ability events done so that's the big thing before level 85 is you're just trying to push as much of it into this. I do suggest two here and one here if you're trying to go for the Zeta stuff. But then if you're just going straight for characters for now because you've already gotten your Zeta ability unlocked, go straight in here. All 150 right there. That being said, going to our regular account, when you hit level 85, you're, you can do a little bit more and I want you guys to open your mind to the possibilities. Uh, name that quote. Uh, anyways, uh, I want you guys to think about this as a budget. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be like a huge financial guru or anything because I'm definitely not and I struggle with my finances anyways, but create a budget. That's what you need to do. So I want you to take what you're making from Grand Arena, take what you're making from Daily Challenges, and take what you're making from Fleet Arena, put it together, and round down. So, like, if you're making 214, round it down to 200. If you're making, you know, 356, round it down to 350. You know, round it down to the nearest 50, and that is your daily crystal allotment that you can do stuff with. Obviously, you can move down your allotment so you can spend only 100 crystals a day if you want to start saving up crystals for an event or something. But that is your daily of uh, crystals. We're not going to factor in events. Uh, we're not going to factor in territory battles. We're not going to factor in, you know, grand arena rewards. Just the daily stuff, so that way we have a base budget. Uh, maybe that's 150. Maybe that's, you know, 200. Whatever it might be, figure it out. Um, my general golden rule though, if you're just looking at what to throw things in and you don't want to do a budget, three in regular energy, one in ship energy. <clears throat> so you can in general get 200 pretty easily, especially if you're pulling from events and stuff, but you can generally get 200 pretty like often. And so three in regular energy, one in ship energy will get you the shards you need starting out to get uh, to a good spot with your account. And that being said, with those 200 crystals, you can fluctuate, you can change things. You've got some light speed bundles. That's great. You're going to be really low on mods. Well, now you have, you know, two refreshes in regular energy and two refreshes in mad mod energy. Oh, you need a character from Cantina and you need him quick? 
you can drop, you know, all of your refreshes and throw 200 uh, crystals into Cantina, which is two refreshes. Uh, you know, you, you can be very fluctuating with this. And so that's what I want you to do is to be very fluid with this. That is what we're looking for is to be fluid with it. Uh, so figure out your daily crystal allotment, but you should all your golden ratio, three regular energy, one fleet energy. Um, but that being said, be fluctuating very much so like when i start getting unlocking a gl i have to farm tickets tickets only come from regular energy i'm gonna drop everything and start doing all regular energy refreshes dip into the hundred refreshes even just to get that gl and that gl's ultimate much quicker than i would be possible if i was just continuing on my same path because i want that gl ready for events proving grounds grand arena i want it now um yes i'm impatient i know i want it now but it's it's important you know to shift your resources in that way maybe you have a lot of open space in your farming plan right now you're just you know you're working on some stuff um and you don't necessarily need anything um like shard wise you can take a break from shard farming drop those energy throw it in cantina start building up a signal data um amount you know, start just getting a whole bunch of signal data. It's never a bad thing to have too much signal data because you'll run out, I promise. You're never going to have too much. The only people that do are people like Arnold. So don't even worry about it. That being said, uh, you can also take things from your crystal income, from like events for like territory wars, grand arena wins, things like that. You can also add that into your crystal income and just be like, okay, I'm not saving up for anything uh, specific. We can take those crystals and distribute them into more of your daily income. But that requires a little bit more math and a little bit more paying attention. Or you can just spend it willy-nilly and then run out when you run out. But I prefer to budget. Um, that being said, number two for what you should spend your crystals, and this is why I don't suggest pulling from those crystal incomes uh, that are coming from, you know, different events and stuff, and you should just keep saving it up it, because of number two. Number two is the packs. Uh, and I'm not saying all packs because a lot of these packs are garbage. Don't ever get these daily deals. It is very rare that they're actually worth what they're, you know, showing. I wouldn't suggest these daily deals almost ever. Uh, that can be a whole separate video of when that, you know, is actually a good idea. <clears throat> but regardless, there is a specific type of pack, and I'm going to put a picture up right now of these packs. Uh, the carbonite circuit boards and the bronzium wiring are super, super important. They cost 500 crystals each. These are the easiest way to get these uh, type of gear. It's always nice to have some crystals lying around to buy these packs. They come around once a month. They are super, super good. One of the best uses of your crystals, especially because you're going to be running out of those two constantly, and it's the only thing that keeps me going in this account and keeps me from having to sit there and just farm relic materials, and when we farm relic materials, we lose passion, and when we lose passion, we stop playing the game which is no bueno so great secondary use of your crystals the third one is very dependent on where you are in the game but it's refreshes and i'm not talking about refreshes for characters you can factor in them in i don't suggest refreshing more than once maybe twice on a character in general because it does get very expensive when it comes to crystals but events let's say you're going for finalizer and going for slkr you need for finalizer a seven star capital ship well you have the stuff you need for the finalizer event where you're just waiting for a capital ship you can throw that 800 crystal refresh in and get another set of shards for that month and speed up your farm to get finalizer you have finalizer now it's going to take you a year and a month uh before you can get a seven star finalizer Let's change that. Let's throw a couple of those refreshes in and all of a sudden it's just like six months. Uh, and so keep that in mind as you're doing things is you can get these refreshes done. Uh, you know, you get an executor. Great. I love the fact that you got an executor. Get it to seven stars. It needs to be seven stars. Uh, not only is seven stars it's just going to be make it so it's just an amazing ship in general, but seven stars takes two years if you don't put any refreshes into it. Uh, if you get it quickly, you can stay in the top of your fleet shard. Uh, as of right now, I'm staying in the top 20 of my fleet shard easily. I can stay in the top five if I'm diligent. Um, but, you know, if you can stay in the top 10 of your fleet shard, basically permanently, that's an extra 200 to 400 crystals a day that you can then use for other things. So getting those refreshes in, great idea. 
we do want to talk about Proving Grounds for a sec. I personally don't refresh Proving Grounds because most Proving Grounds characters requires a build up, a lead up that's really difficult to do. If you're getting, if you're, you know, throwing refreshes at Ben, you better already have Ray from the Lightspeed Bundles. If you're throwing refreshes at Maul, you better be building up your Maul DeLoreans, otherwise you're not going to have a team for him. You know, if you're going to build up Cat, you better have JMK or a Padme team to put her with. So, like, a lot of the Proving Grounds characters have a requirement attached to them where you have to get other characters because they're meant to lift a faction. And so, I want you to consider that as you're doing that. And I get it if it's a PP. You know, passion projects are fine. Go for your PP. Follow your PP. Uh, but, like, think about this. Uh, uh, 999 crystals for an executive refresh. I'm fine with that. But, like, these characters, I'm refreshing for 2,700 crystals. That is 20 bucks in real money. Um, that is a really hard sell for me. Especially for a character that requires build-up to get it. So... And there's ways to speed them up anyways. The Galactic Legend currency with get three currency. So there's ways to speed it up without dipping into your crystal funds. So if they're a PP, go for it. But I don't typically suggest Proving Grounds characters unless you're already, like, if you have JMK, do stop. Like, don't spend any crystals. Go straight for Cat. You need Cat now. But if you don't have JMK, I'm like, I mean, I'll get Cat when I get Cat. Like, it's been forever, but I finally have Cat. Like, yeah, I put in, I didn't put in any refreshes to Cat. I didn't put any refreshes into Maul. Um, but I have Cat and Maul in my roster because I spent some uh, Galactic Legend tokens. I spent some Get 3 currency. And I farmed them up the slow way. And so I shaved off probably two or three months from them when I was doing uh, shard farming without spending any crystals. So I will leave it up to you when it comes to Proving Grounds. But it's not my favorite way to spend crystals. Everything else in the game, I feel like, is secondary when it comes to crystals. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts when it comes to these crystals um, and where you would spend them. Uh, if you have a couple other places that you think are vitally important for, like, yes, you should spend them here, I'd love to hear about them in the comments section. Uh, but these are the three big ones that I think are, like, the, the ones that we need to focus down on. Um, just as a final afterthought, we do have Conquest going on right now. Uh, should you use conquest refreshes no if you're in easy no if you're in normal probably not unless you're farming datacrons um if you're farming datacrons i get it but make sure you're not over farming datacrons uh just get a couple datacrons get whatever like you have one relic team get one datacron and call it a day um so if you're farming datacrons i would say that's a maybe but the only time i really say you know start refreshing conquest energy is when you start getting to hard mode you're farming shards for the characters you're getting good gear you're getting good rewards go ahead and drop those refreshes and at that point it doesn't matter because you have such a good crystal income by the time you hit hard mode uh that like you can afford a refresh or two here or there so you know at this point i can afford to drop three refreshes on conquest every day it's not going to affect my crystal income like at all <laughs> because I'm staying in the top of my fleet arena. You know, I'm in Kyber. Uh, I get daily 240 crystals out of being in Kyber 2, which we'll see if that drops to 220 with Kyber 3. But anyways, like I get plenty of crystals. I can afford it because, you know, I'm working on these characters. I'm working on these Datacrons. But like, honestly, just stick to your regular farms if you're on easy if you're on normal same thing unless you're like really struggling in normal you can drop a one or two um throughout if you're farming datacrons sure drop a couple but like i don't suggest it for most players early on but yeah hopefully that was helpful i know it's a little less here's a straight answer and i apologize for that i really wish everything in life had a straight answer that i could just be like oh it's this but honestly, this is something that needs to remain fluid, in my opinion. Uh, and so, you know, take a look at your account, budget it out, and figure out your refreshes, figure out how you're going to use your crystals, and be efficient. This game is a marathon, not a sprint. If we are efficient, we will beat out most people, um, especially even people that are whaling. We'll end up doing a lot better than them because they are whaling and not being efficient with their whaling. Uh, even I, who am... Dolphining. I am uh, spending quite a bit of money. I am being smart with my money. 
Uh, I am not just wantonly wasting money. Um, and by doing that, I'm getting a lot more bang for buck than other people. Same with my crystals. I'm getting a lot more bang for buck than most other people. So keep that in mind as you're looking at things. And I'd love to hear how you guys spend crystals and think that things are like, you know, efficient or, you know, I would love to hear about other things that you think are worth spending your crystals on in the comment section. Uh, as much as we can share with other people how to play the game, the better this community is going to do. And I love hearing about that so much. Thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video.